your sexy back. Yeah. And the other boys don't know how to act. Yeah. Well, ladies, it's official. The world's sexiest heir to the throne is off the market. But don't despair, there are plenty more beautiful blue bloods out there. So who are the world's most eligible bachelors? Author and beauty expert Zoe Foster. Who wouldn't want to have a prince on their arm? Oh my God. Coming in at number five is Prince Badar Jafar of Dubai. Known for his lavish parties, you'll find this prince hanging out on the French Riviera. He does have a penchant for supermodels and most famously he had a very ugly, very public spit with his ex Naomi Campbell who caused $50,000 worth of damage to his yacht during one of their arguments and now I think he's still reportedly seeing Petra and Cobra. If you want a Playboy Prince, I think he'd be the best one. In Monaco, it's double the fun. Both Prince Andrea and Prince Pierre are up for grabs. Probably the best thing for most girls about these two boys is that they are grandsons to Grace Kelly, so you automatically think that you're going to be part of this amazingly stylish and graceful family. I think the young one, Pierre, is a little bit better looking, he's a bit more handsome, and he's kind of got a bit more of the black sheep syndrome. But then Andrea's got this, you know, incredible charitable side to him where he goes to Africa and teaches children. It's which one you want, the better looking one or the, the one who's a more decent human being, I guess. Prince Carl Philippe of Sweden is still single, second in line to the throne with a handsome fortune. A race car driver, he's athletic, he's a graphic designer, he's a photographer, he's strong, silent, sexy type. He looks like he should be in a Gucci campaign. But at number one is Prince Harry, now Europe's most eligible bachelor. All he needs is the right woman to tame his wild ways. You know, redheads aren't traditionally seen as attractive, but he's got that charisma and that spunk and he's been up to a bit of mischief in the past. And I think what draws women to Harry is that he's free-spirited, he's a traveller, he's um, a bit of a renegade. I think the kind of woman that will eventually lock him down will have to be equally independent and free-spirited and, you know, not so much a show pony or a very conservative. 